Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. We bless the name of the Lord tonight once again, brethren, for another all things are possible. I want to say welcome to the month of breakthroughs, the month of good news, the month of release, the month of blessings from above. You are welcome tonight in the name of Jesus. All things are possible, only believe. All we need to do is just to put our trust in the Lord. Let us pray. And so, mighty and everlasting God, we are grateful to you tonight for another session of All Things Are Possible, where we put our trust in you. And so, Lord, we have come again to say, Lord, thank you for the ones you have done. Thank you for the ones in progress. And thank you for the ones you will never do. And thank you for being our God, our Father. And thank you for being God indeed. And so, once again, in this new month, we open this All Things Are Possible. In the name of Jesus, we dedicate it to God. In the name of God, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. We pray every prayer that will be prayed here tonight. God of heaven, we honor it in Jesus' name. And your name will be glorified. In the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Without more I do present today, we're going to quickly look at Genesis. Then we just go straight to prayer. We are going to pray tonight. We are going to pray tonight. It doesn't matter whether we're using 10, 15 minutes, but we're just going to pray tonight. You know, um, we're taking a, a case study from Isaac um, that the enemy kept covering his well. The enemy kept pursuing his destiny. The enemy kept, you know, delaying his blessings. The enemy kept mocking and humiliating him. Maybe your case is like that this evening. I want to let you know, irrespective of where you have connected from tonight, irrespective of how long you've been in that problem, irrespective of what people have said concerning that your case, I want to let you know there is good news today because the Lord will set you free. The Lord will deliver you and you will be set free from that humiliation of the enemy in the name of Jesus. It's actually not the length of the prayer because most times we spend one hour, maybe about 30 minutes of it is to talk. So we're going to pray. So um, I would say I will encourage you to read from verse 15. But for, for the sake of this um program tonight and we don't intend to spend so much time i'll be reading from verse 21 and they digged another well and strove for that also and he called the name of it shina and he removed from thence and digged another well and for that they strove not and he called the name of it rehobo and he said, For the Lord had laid room for us, and we shall be fruitful in the land. Hallelujah. 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 Verse 23 says, And he went up from them to Beersheba, and the Lord appeared unto him the same night, and said, I am the God of Abraham. Fear not, for I am with thee. And we bless thee and will multiply thy seed for my servant Abraham's sake. Hallelujah. I want to say to you tonight, fear not. Fear not. It doesn't matter how long the enemy has been battling with you. But the good news is that do not fear because the Lord is in charge. There is a song we normally sing in this program. That says, yes, all things are possible. All things are possible. All things are possible in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, it is possible. All things are possible. All things are possible in my life. Yes, I can feel that. Presence of Jesus and His work has made me whole. Yes.
yes, it is possible. My breakthroughs are possible. If it's possible in the Lord, yes, I can feel the presence of Jesus and His Word has made me whole. It is possible. My healing is possible. My breakthroughs are possible. My blessing is possible. How? It is possible in the name of the Lord. And because I believe and I put my trust in Him, His Word, His presence, His name that is above every name, makes me free. Brethren, where we have read, you saw how Isaac struggled with the enemy. When he uh, did well, the enemy will go there and cover it. Can you imagine? It's not as if they actually even needed it. It's not as if they were using it. They kept covering it. Maybe that is your case today. But guess what? They kept on. They kept on. They kept on. They did not give up. You remember, we said you must not give up on no account. It doesn't matter how long the enemy will pursue it doesn't matter how long the enemy is going to fight you. Do not give up. You know there's an adage in Africa that says, when you take something from a child and you lift your hand up and say, you know what? I'm not giving it to you. I'm not giving it to you. Guess what happens? When your hand is tired, definitely you will bring down your hand. It doesn't matter how long the enemy has persisted. It doesn't matter how long the tempter has tempted. It doesn't matter how long they have said. You will not make it. Do not give up. Your miracle is at your doorsteps. Hallelujah. Do not give up. Continue. Be consistent in your prayers. Put your trust and your hope in God. And so this is going to be our prayer point tonight. My Father and my God, every power monitoring my progress, put a stop to their activities. In the name of Jesus, every gadget, every monitoring gadget they are using, every form, every strategy, put an end to it tonight. In the name of Jesus, Hebrew Manka Santa Baba, Borobo Coton Torobo Sheke Sebo Cotovia, Hebrew Manka Santa Robo Sheke Sebo Cotovia. I decree and declare, you power that is following up on my progress. Looking and fighting to put down my progress in the name of Jesus. I put a stop to your activity tonight. I put a stop to your activities by the blood of the Lamb. You are going to pray and say, My Father, every household wickedness working against me and my family, put a stop to their activities right now. God knows how He's going to do that. I don't know. But I know and I trust my father. He knows how to put an end to the activities of the enemy. We are going to say, Lord God of heaven, every household wickedness, every household enemy that says, in the name of Jesus, they will begin to work against me, work against my progress. Father, put an end to them in the name of Jesus. Put an end to God in Jesus' name. We have prayed. If this is your first time here, I am of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. In the Redeemed Christian Church of God, we have what we call Open Heaven. It's a daily Bible um, uh, quiet time for you and your family. Guess what? Our Father in the Lord, that is where He, 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 you know, he, he, he shared his um, fellowship with us on a daily basis. In this Open Heaven, the Daddy spoke about Anikura. You may not understand what Anikura means. Many of us didn't understand, uh, understand why Daddy mentioned it until he explained and told us what was the meaning of Anikura. Anikura was an arm robber. He will, not, uh, he will not tell you not to go to the farm. He will not tell you not to go to the market. He will not tell you not to buy property. He will not tell you not to get that job. But guess what? At the end of the month, when it is time for you to get the benefit of what you have labored for, 
he comes with his arms stretched and take it from you. He will wait to the end of the day. You are going to pray. Every spiritual anikura in my life, in my destiny, stop now in Jesus' name. When you say stop, the Lord can stop their existence. So you don't really have to say that, that, whether they die or not, whichever way the Lord will stop them, let him stop them now. In the name of Jesus, you spirit of Anikura, I put an end to you right now in my labor. I put an end to you right now in my family. I put an end to you right now in the name that is above every name. In my husband's life, in my children's life, in my ministry, in my business. You are Nikura spirit. Stop in the name of Jesus. We command you to stop right now. Stop your activities in my family. Stop your activities in my home. Stop your activities in my ministry. In the name of Jesus, you are going to pray. Every repeat of problems in my family, in my life, in my ministry, in your lineage, because there are some repeat problems that set at certain times. Different things happen to different families. You are going to put an end to them right now. In the name of Jesus, you repeat problems. You repeat difficulty. You repeat challenges. I put an end to you. You don't have place in my family. You don't have place in my life. In the name that is above every name, I put a stop to you right now. I put a stop to you right now. I put a stop to your activities. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. You are going to pray and say, In this new month, every assigned power against me, against my family, against my job, against my business, against my ministry, stop. In the name of Jesus, you cannot continue in your evil activities. Every assigned problem. Every assigned difficulty, every assigned, you know, repeat occurrence. I command you to stop in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I put an end to you tonight by the precious blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You torment soul. Stop in the name of Jesus. I put an end to you right now by the power of the Most High God. I release the spirit of blindness on you. I turn your brain upside down by the precious blood of Jesus. In the name that is above every name, He can send to the Bobo, Guriman can send to the Bosheke Sekeria, Borobo send to the Bobo, Ingerebe Kesebo Kotiriba, and Kasen to Robo Ike Seburia, Buriba Kasheria, by the authority in heaven. I command you to stop by the precious blood of Jesus. I put an end to you in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Brethren, you are going to pray. There are some powers, forces of hell. They have taken an oath saying over their dead body will you progress. Over their dead body will your star shine. Over their dead body, you know, Will you be happy? And some of you, you're already mourning at the beginning of the of the month. You are saying, not again, Lord. We have just started the month. As the month was starting, they 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 you know they plug everything in, in progress to bring you down. They are the ones that will go down in the name of Jesus. They have taken an oath over their dead body. Will you get a job? Over their dead body will your wife conceive. Over your their dead body will you have a home. Over their dead body will you be happy. They have put your destiny on hold. They don't have power. They don't have power to do so. Because the Bible says, By strength shall no man prevail. If you are doing it with them physically, you are wasting your time. You are going to pray. You have said with your mouth, over your dead body, will you see me happy? Over your dead body, will you see my family happy? Yes, the time has come. It is over your dead body because right now, I am I am breaking through. I am breaking forth in the name of Jesus. Right now, the doors of breakthroughs 
are open to me. Heavens are open to me. Let it be according to the word of your mouth. Because the Lord has said so. In the name of Jesus. He says whatever has to come, will come. Whatever has to go, will go. You have said with your mouth, you will not see me happy. And I decree happiness over my life. So your end has come right now. In the name of Jesus. Because this is the time of my breakthroughs. This is the time of my breakfast. This is the time of my joy. This is the time of my rejoicing. This is the time that in the name that is above every name, the healing I have trusted God for. This is the time the baby I have trusted God for. This is the time the husband I have trusted God for. This is the time the wife I have trusted God for. I don't care who you are that is involved in this, that have taken an oath, that have made a decision that over your dead body, yes, it is your dead body right now. Because I must break through. Because I must succeed. In the name of Jesus, you are going to pray. Every negativity release into this month. You know, like we are praying now, forces of hell, wickedness. As we are saying, Lord, bless our mouth. They are busy releasing pain, releasing death, releasing sorrow, releasing difficulties. You are going to say, Lord, every negativity that is released into this month against me, against my family, I reverse you in the name of Jesus. I reverse you in the name of Jesus. I reverse you by the blood of Jesus. Back to sender, back to sender, back to sender, back to sender. Back to sender in the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, in the name of God the Holy Spirit. I command you right now to go back to your sender by the precious blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, you are going to say, Lord, this month, let my breakthroughs begin to manifest. Breakthroughs begin to manifest. In the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, in the name of God the Holy Spirit. My breakthroughs, I command you right now, begin to manifest, begin to manifest, begin to manifest, manifest in my marriage, manifest in the life of my children, manifest in my breakthrough, in, in, in my ministry, in the name of Jesus, you are going to say, my breakthrough manifest, my job manifest, my husband manifest, my wife manifest, my children manifest, poverty leave. In the name of Jesus, wealth manifests. In the name of Jesus, riches manifest. In the name of Jesus, you are going to begin to pray. Everything you want to manifest in your life, begin to call them forth right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Greatness manifest right now. Manifest by the power and the authority of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. My father in the Lord, Pastor Iye Adeboye, told us last uh, two weeks, see now that enough is enough. What you don't want to take, stand up against it. I want you to stand up in your spirit right now and say enough of sickness in my life, enough of pain, enough of sorrow, enough of starting all over again. Every power that breaks at the point of breakthroughs, enough is enough. In the name of Jesus, you are going to decree and declare. Every enemy rejoicing over me, turn their Lord, turn their joy into sorrow. You power that says I have gotten him, I have gotten her. Yes, is this not you? This is your end. You are the one that your end has come. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I turn that your joy to sorrow. Every power rejoicing over me, rejoicing over my family, I turn your joy to sorrow right now by the blood of Jesus. I turn your joy to sorrow. In this month, I will see you sorrowful. In this month, I will see you pain. In this month, I will see you crying. In the name of Jesus, you are going to pray. Every power waiting to humiliate me, whatever is their strategy, whatever is their form, whatever is their nature, by the precious blood of Jesus, 
I put an end to you. I put an end to your power. I put an end to your activity. In case korobo kotorobo, in case bokotoria, barima kasa tariba, in case bokotoria kasheria, buri kaka kaka, buri makase korobo bobo. I declare and declare, I revert back your humiliation to you, your shame and disgrace. I return it back to you by the precious blood of Jesus. It is not my portion. It is not the portion of my family. You cannot humiliate me. You cannot humiliate my family. You cannot humiliate my ministry. In the name of Jesus, wherever you are waiting, whatever form you are using, whatever strategy you are using, I reverse it back to you right now. And I say enough is enough. In the name of Jesus, you are going to pray, Lord, mock my mockers. In this new mock, mock my mockers, oh God. Mock my mockers, Lord. Mock those that are mocking me. Mock them yourself, Jesus. Like the case of Isaac. They keep mocking. They keep humiliating. They keep afflicting pains on him. But he stood his ground. In the name of Jesus, he did not give up. He did not surrender to the enemy. You will not surrender. I will not surrender. This month, in the name of Jesus, you mockers of my destiny, I mock you today by the precious blood of Jesus. Lord, in this month, in the name of Jesus, I will laugh best in the mighty name of Jesus. Because I'm going to laugh last. He that laughs last, laughs best in the name that is above every name. I will laugh best in this month, in this new month, in the mighty name of Jesus. You humiliate us. The Lord humiliates you. You mock us. The Lord mock you. In the name of God the Father. In the name of God the Son. In the name of God the Holy Spirit. And right now, I want you to join me to begin to thank the Lord for the prayers he has answered. For the, 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 the people he has attended to. For the destinies he has turned around. For good. For releasing blessings. For releasing testimonies to our answer in this platform. I want you also to help me thank God that the Lord is helping us to reach out to so many people, to so many souls in the name of Jesus. Not just in the area of prayers, but people surrendering their lives to the authority of Jesus and humiliating the power of hell in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we are grateful to you. We thank you. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you adoration. Because whenever we call on you, Jesus, you answer us. And you make a way when there seems to be no way. And we say, Lord, unto you be honor, glory, adoration. In the mighty name of Jesus. And so, Lord, we are grateful to you. In the mighty name of Jesus. For answering us once again. For in Jesus' name, we have prayed. I want you to begin to thank the Lord for all these prayers you have prayed. For all the points we have raised, even as you go back to begin to pray it yourself in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Brethren, I told us at the beginning of this meeting that we are not going to really spend so much time in pray. I mean, in this uh, platform today, that we'll rather spend more time in praying than talking. Now we're going to continue to pray more rather than say things. At least by all explanation we have done in the previous videos. I think that will help you to understand it's not just about saying our Father who is in heaven or whichever way you pray, but that God of heaven, let your kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven. You have to understand this to the end of the Bible and know what you're praying about. So tonight, I want to give room to, to some people because as we have prayed, guess what? Not all of us that have prayed tonight, their prayers will be answered. Because if you are not a member of the family, you don't have right to inheritance of that family. If you are not a, a member of the family of God, you belong to the devil, you cannot take what belongs to the children of God. So you can see how important it is for you to acknowledge the lordship of Jesus Christ in your life. And so for that reason tonight, in the name of Jesus, I want you to, if you want to give your life to Jesus, I cannot see you, but the Lord can see you. I want you to lift your hands wherever you are and say, Lord Jesus, 
thank you for this opportunity to acknowledge your lordship in my life. Thank you for this opportunity to know that God of heaven, I need to be part of the family to receive the blessings that belong to a family. And so I have come as one of the family, oh God members. I pray Lord Jesus you will answer me. Every sin I have committed, oh God, in the past, every sin of commission and omission, Lord, have mercy on me. And help me not to go back to my vomit in Jesus' name. I pray tonight, oh God, you will reveal yourself to me. You will speak to me yourself regarding myself and my family. That I will not make the mistake, oh God, that I have brought all this evil upon my life. That I will not go back to my sickness, affliction again in the name of Jesus. And thank you, Lord God of heaven, for giving me this opportunity. Take glory in Jesus' name. Amen. You can see? That is so simple. But the most powerful thing you can do for yourself and your family in your life. Hallelujah. You see me? I'm clapping. You know why? I've just joined the elders, you know, in heaven. I've just joined the ministry angels. I've just joined the people of the Most High God to applaud you. And guess what? My father in the Lord, Pastor Ie Adeboye, prays for us every blessed day. He prays for his children. So if you have acknowledged, you are part of that family. I'm pleased for you to get this prayer point. I want you to put your name. So you can either reach us through our chat box or comment. Or you go to our description. You see different links. You can reach us through, through any of those links. And the Lord will bless you as you have honored and have acknowledged the name of the Lord this afternoon, I mean, evening rather, in the mighty name of Jesus, irrespective of where you're watching from, the time of your location, in the mighty name of Jesus. Welcome. I want to let you know, by God's grace, our pastor, Pastor Tom Irabo, is the pastor of this parish. He's a man that fears God, a man that honors the name of the Lord. And he will join my father in the Lord to be praying for you as well. We encourage you to join our Bible studies on Wednesdays. And we also encourage you to join our online um, uh, church on Sundays. And the Lord will bless you and reward you abundantly in the mighty name of Jesus. I want to say thank you for being part of our, our service tonight in the name of Jesus. I want you to watch out for more of this welfare prayer points. We're going to be praying more. I want you to share, to like, to, to subscribe, so that when we upload or when we stream like this, you will be one of the first people that will be notified. And you will always have it in your email or whichever means you want to have it. And you will not lose out on this prayer point. I want to tell you this prayer we have prayed today is your testimony for tomorrow in the name of Jesus. I remain your blessed child of the most high God in the name that is above every name. Receive your blessings. Shalom in Jesus name. Amen.